Hello, longboarding mom. I am still processing pineapples. Today we are going to use the little core thing and make ringlets and um, finish the pineapple juice that I started yesterday. Um, so my husband's surgery went very well. They had to cut into his finger right here. Um, it has, the finger has a tendon that goes up there and then there's one underneath and there's sleeves that like go over the tendons and stuff. I'm not a doctor, so I'm just kind of trying to remember what the surgeon told me he did. So he had to cut it open and he had to scrape the bone because it had infection in the bone. Um, it was eating at his tendon, so they cleaned out all that infection, all that stuff that was in there, and um, put a drain in it. So he's got a cast on his hand all the way up to here um, right now, and then a drain, and they're pumping him full of antibiotics because the infection got into his blood a little bit, just a little bit. I mean, it, it was bad. He should have gone to the doctor a long time ago, and you know men, they... Oh, it'll get better. It'll get better and won't listen to their wives. So anyway, he, um, uh, the surgeon said it was good because he's opened up fingers and the tendon was, has been mush. So he, uh, still is going to have use of his finger. He's not going to lose his finger and the antibiotics will help. Um, now the AFib, uh, is early onset. Um, he's just got to quit smoking. Uh, we've been exercising and he just has to eat right and we've been doing that part the quit smoking He's done. He's like I'm done. I will never have a cigarette again And he's got the willpower where he will he who will quit. Um, we've got little nicotine Pills so that'll help him if he needs it and stuff, but I think he's really done because the um The afib scared him and they also said that he has a little bit of eczema or, or something. I can't remember there was a lot of information yesterday. Um, so, yeah, uh, everything went well, and I'm at home. He's still in the hospital. I have one more night, maybe. I'm hoping he can come home today, but they said probably not because they're going to do the um, antibiotic thingy. So, we'll see. So, let's cut um, these. We're going to cut this can ringlets and can our pineapple juice today. I went to my work yesterday to get a pineapple core. This is what it looks like. Um, I've never used one before. I'm kind of excited. But guess what? I saw it the other day when I was at work. And when I asked my boss if I could borrow it, she's like, oh, I just organized and I got rid of it. Now, she never gets rid of anything. So, we went looking for it. She's always still in the box. Could not find it. Could not find it. Could not find it. So, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go buy one because I know at $1.47 or cheaper, I can get pineapples um, with coupons and stuff like that. I will be doing this more. And um, I decided to go buy one. But I bet you we will find that as soon as we're not looking for it. So, anyway, this is what you do. You cut. Um, remember, I'm horrible with knives, you guys. Don't watch me. Okay. Cut it off. I bet I can grow that. And then I cut it cricket. See, I'm horrible. And then you are supposed to... Um, I read the directions on how to do this. Cut the top off your pineapple and line the core and blade. Push and twist tool into fruit until close to base. Then grip and pull straight out. And there's little buttons on here that you push to lift and remove handle to tip over to slide the sliced pineapple off. Then step four, cut spiral with knife for individual rings or chunks. Reserve the core pineapple for daiquiri or punch. Oh, wow, I wish they would have had a little recipe for that. So does... 
Oh, the lid comes off like that, or the top comes off like that. But does this come off is what I want to know. You push it in. Ha, see? Push it in the core like so. And then you just keep giving it a little twist like so all the way down and because I did it crooked I'm oh gosh this is the first time I'm doing this my sister said it's so easy maybe if you cut the pineapple straight it'll work better Made it to the bottom yet? Most. Okay, I think that's the bottom. And then it says to pull it straight out. Let's make sure. Okay, there it goes. Whoa, look at that. Ha! Uh, that is cool. So then you take the lid, the top off like so. And let's just dump it right in the bowl. Click. Oh, so I see what it means. It's still one big spiral. So if you want to cut Like that. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to save these because I've got juice already making. I might. And see. And then you go. Let's see. Like that. How awesome. I'm going to just go straight down. Like so. Look. I've got ringlets. I'm going to jar these up. And I am also going to make the juice today. So I'm going to do the rest of these pineapples and we'll come back in a little bit. Okay, so this is all of my scraps. My sister said boil it all, all of it. So we're going to boil it, put it in the refrigerator overnight, and then we're going to strain it. My house smells amazing. I've got the pineapple juice boiling, um, 15 minutes and then let it cool. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator overnight and then I'm gonna strain it and then I'm gonna water bath it, it for 10 minutes. Um, these ringlets will not fit in the jar the way they are, so we gotta cut a chunk out of them. Cut. They still won't fit, look at that. We're just gonna kind of force them down in there. I've only found, I could only find two jars that had the wide mouths in so I can get these rings in. And um, I guess I'm going to just make the rest little junk, little chunks like that. And then we will um, add water to these. I don't think I cut, I don't, oops, broke it. I broke it. I didn't cut a big enough chunk out of it. There we go. I get all these pineapples. Oh yeah, I gotta show you something. There's juice. I mean, I got juice everywhere, but look at this. This is the only one that came out like that, the core. Inside, that one was perfect. I cut it straight across and it came out just right. It's funny because the other one, um, the other one I did 
horribly. Well, the last one didn't um, uh, cut straight. And then I end up like, as I'm cutting it down, it, um, I don't know, it was weird. It was weird. I cut into the side of it and, and everything. So, oh, definitely got to clean these. And I think that's about it on my ringlets there on that one. Did you know there's like little seeds in these? Oops. Ah. Oh, look, see, there's a little seed right there. Let me get that seed out. Uh. Mm. She made it sound like it was easier to do than this. <laughs> oh yeah, I do it all the time. <laughs> She's been doing it for a lot longer than me, different things and stuff. And the bad thing about doing pineapple is her husband can't have anything citrus. He loves pineapple. You see pineapple all the time. And now, um, I don't know why I didn't do that before. Cut, cut a few at a time like that. And then, let's see. You know what? I'm going to dump that one out. I'm definitely going to have to wash these jars because my hands are sticky, 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 and, um, sticky. Oh, see? I've got to cut just a little bit more off. Sticky, 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 and, um, I, I just, pineapple juice everywhere, like I said. I wish I could have saved it all. That's a little better. Little rings. Little rings. Maybe next week I will be able to make um, pineapple upside down cake in my jars. I got plenty of jars. My husband will be upset because he doesn't have any cheesecakes. So I'll probably have to make some cheesecakes so that I'll have to buy more jars because um, I'm running out of jars. I'm using my jars. Yay. It's so satisfying when you know. When you know you make good food and your your food gets eaten. There we go. Eh, rings, half rings, whatever you want to call them. And then the rest are going to go in these jars here. So we'll be back in a little bit and I'll show you how to um, finish the juice. Okay, you guys, this is my pot with my pineapple juice. Those are all the rinds. Um, I think what I'm going to do, you got to strain it. And I don't know, like, I don't have a big bowl. I don't have, I don't know what to do. Um, so I think I'm just going to try to get as much juice out of these as I can. And just dump it right into my garbage there. I wonder if I could squeeze it. So I'm taking out the large pieces and then I'm going to try to carefully pour it into this pitcher right here. One moment. Hello. While I was on the phone with my husband, I just stuck my hands in there and started squeezing. Look at this. That's a lot of juice I was throwing away. I don't even know if I'm going to have enough jars to put all this juice in. I might have to drink some of it. So I've been just sticking my hands in. My hands are clean. And getting all of this stuff out of it. Not all of it. I just want to squeeze, you know, squeeze as much juice out of it as I can get. And then I'll strain the rest. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. 
I think there's some big pieces in there. My hands are sticky. One thing about doing pineapple juice and pineapples and everything is that it is a sticky mess. So my, my um, pineapple haul, I've got 12 of these size jars. They're pint size. And then two of, of pineapple chunks. And then two um, pineapple slices in the wide mouth. Oh, look at that. I knew it. Look at all that juice. Oh, gosh. That's a lot of juice. I didn't realize it was going to be that much. Right, I've got three jars right now prepared. Um, I'm sanitizing. Uh, and this is all I have left of these jars. We should try a little bit of it. little glass. I'm gonna do it down the hatch glass. Let's try this. It's not as bright as, um, you know, the pineapple juice that you would buy in the store. Well, it's pineapple juice. Yes. I wonder if I can make it stronger. Like, it doesn't need to be any sweeter, but. I need more pineapple. And I taste the pineapple, but it's like a watered down pineapple. I wonder if I put too much water in it. I don't know, but it's, or maybe it just needs to sit just a little bit longer in the jars. Mm. The pineapple juice is so good for you. And um, if you have a cold or something, you can use that to help with your runny nose and stuff and bromelain and stuff. Just Pineapple, vitamin C, I mean, you can't go wrong with having pineapple juice in your house. And my sister makes pineapple jelly out of this. And I've not, I'm not a huge jelly fan. We don't eat a lot of jelly in the house. So I thought about making jelly, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to leave it at pineapple juice and pineapple and we'll see. So right now I have one, two, three pint jars, one, two, three, four, um, what are those big old quart jars and, um, some pineapple juice in the refrigerator, probably another quart size jar. Um, I am waiting for my pot. For my big pot, I'll show you guys, over there on the stove to start boiling because it's got the pineapple chunks in it. Right now I'm doing dishes and I've got that pot over there. Let me tighten that. That pot right there, I can put some of these little jars in. In the meantime, I just got to get it all cleaned up and get all the pineapple and stickiness and everything out of the way. I will let you guys know how everything turns out when it's done. Look at all that goodness. Um, these ones here just came out, so they have not sealed yet. You can see the, they're so hot. Um, the rest of them have all sealed. That's empty. <laughs> um, but I've got now 12 chunks of pineapples, two um, pineapple slices, and then one, two, three, four quart size pineapple juice, and one, two, three um, pints. And I've got some in the refrigerator as well. It, it is good. The only thing different I would do with these is um, I I took a lot of pineapple off of everything. The only thing that was really pineapple was the core. So when you use the core thingy, there's a lot of pineapple still left inside of that um, hole, the pineapple, you know. And so that next time I will make pineapple juice out of it, and I'm hoping it will have a lot more pineapple in it. I've got more jars sanitizing 
in there. I'm going to make pineapple upside down cakes. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that today. They might release my husband at like 4.30 today. He'll have to go back once a week for um, antibiotics. So it's like... This is weird. They've got a needle in his arm they're going to put in, and it's going to go all the way to his heart. So the antibiotics are going to go straight to his heart. And he's got to do that for six weeks. 